Welcome back, welcome back, and today I'm going to show you another Brutal Ferris team, which I got from King7, or I got a different version from King7. I just slightly modified it a bit so that it, well, that I can use it with what I had. King7 is a YouTuber that does like new game, mid-game player guides. So yeah, if you're interested, check him out. But yeah. What's the thing? In my team, as you have might have seen it in my other Brutal Ferris teams already, Tywin still the same on Candlestick to cycle the defense break and as to as often as possible. Tama also still the same, but I have her on Magahara's Tome to cycle herself much more. Now the two different units. Kitty Clarissa, thanks to using Taranogard, let's say it like that, she is enabling your team to cycle incredibly often. And basically all the damage from this team comes from Taranogard. Taranogard. I have put him on Rage Set with a little bit of effectiveness. Like, I don't have him on enough, but let's say close to enough. So just in case Tywin misses his defense break, I'm still be able to sometimes get a defense break out of Taranogard every now and then. But besides that, he's on full damage. What is there else to say? Well, Kitty Clarissa also cleanses. Keep in mind, there is one thing that could actually go wrong with this team. That would be when your kitty cycles herself out of her buff right before the second silent space. Because then you are basically praying for anything. Well, okay, and your Tama doesn't have idols form. But yeah, you're basically praying for anything, getting a dual strike with Taranogat so that your team gets pushed through. I think it didn't happen to me yet, but still, it is a chance, so I just wanted to warn you because of that. What is King7 using differently compared to me? He's using Lilius instead of Tywin, so basically another like 100% chance to get a dual strike. I just prefer having the two turn defense break with my Tywin. Both of these teams are definitely very good. So yeah, let's take a look at my units. Here's my Tywin. He is uh, way too tanky. He definitely doesn't need to be tanky like that. Keep in mind 85 effectiveness. I only have 83, which is kind of uh, annoying. Yeah, I think Candlestick is literally still the best artifact. Still because it is enabling so many defense breaks and so many S2 pushes, it is always worth it. Unless you are struggling with survivability, then you should go with something to make your team or your knight survive better, of course. And now the main part of the team, Taranogard. Like I said, he's not on enough effectiveness, but he's close to, just to be able to ensure a defense break every now and then when Tyron gets resisted. Enough crit rate, since, of course, elemental advantage to the boss. And besides that, as much damage as possible. I've also went for Ancient Sheath, which is basically the best damage artifact you can have on him. You could also go with the um, Elemental Guild War artifact, the one where he gets less damage and does more damage to and from fire. But yeah, besides that, uh, Rage, if you can pull it off, Death Pen, even better. My Tama is basically still the same as always. Uh, she's built for all the other expeditions too. That's why you see effectiveness and resistance on her, but it is not necessary. Just get her a little bit tanky around, like mine is fine. More tanky is better and just fast. Magahara's Tome, since you are definitely cycling out of the silence phase, you can go with it. And then there's Kitty. Get her as fast as possible, like without using your PvP gear. A little bit of tankiness, because you don't want her to die, of course. I've put her on water gun, so like, I actually have enough effectiveness with that one on my Taranogard and my Tywin, which is pretty pog. But keep in mind, her EE, you should not have the one that gives a debuff, because then he would get three debuffs, counter you, give all of these debuffs to your entire team, and you're basically wiping. So don't int with that. I would say the best is basically that she heals 
the one with the highest attack, so basically Tauranagat. But I wouldn't say it's necessary since I was running my kitty on no EE for a while and my Tauranagat didn't die. That's that. Thank you very much to King7. This team, I think I didn't say it yet, so so far, I think the lowest score I've gotten was 1.4 million, but usually it is at least at 1.5 up to a full kill. So yeah, thank you very much for this team and hope you guys enjoyed it and see ya.